An early morning fire in Northwest Indiana forces more than two dozen families out of their homes right before the new year. Multiple crews spent hours putting out the two alarm fire. CBS 2's Stephen Graves tonight on how it started. It's the unthinkable task of clearing out your home. People lugging out electronics and clothes stuffed into trash bags. It's just messed up. Many of the 32 displaced families at the Park West Apartments in Griffith walked out stone faced, shocked at what they just experienced hours earlier. And then all of a sudden it's just big fire on the roof. I never seen nothing like it. It was just burning from the top. The fire woke people up around four in the morning. 10 crews had to battle the two alarm blaze that started in the middle floor of the apartment building and spread. One firefighter rolled an ankle. Everyone else got out okay. Fire officials tell me the flames started in a laundry room of one apartment. It was so hard to put out because the flames spread through the wall. The Griffith deputy fire chief says there were working smoke and fire detectors, but no sprinklers. Same goes for a nearby building that went up in flames back in November. A person was killed here after officials believe that too was an accident. I don't know how to feel, what to feel. It's never happened to me before. Laura Fountaine is just happy she and her family of seven are safe. They're scrambling to figure out what's next, just days before the new year. In Griffith, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. The Red Cross is now assisting families. Griffith fire officials say sprinklers were not required to be installed when the apartments were built.